Hello and welcome to our series on HTMX. In this first chapter, we are going to introduce you to HTMX and explain why it's becoming a popular choice for web developers. Now let's see what is HTMX. HTMX is a lightweight JavaScript library that allows you to access AJAX, CSS transitions, WebSockets, and server sent events directly in HTML without writing any JavaScript. It extends and generalizes HTML, making it more powerful and expressive. No JavaScript programming required for any task. Let's look at a simple example. This button, when clicked, will send a post request to clicked and replace the element with ID, parentiv, with the response. All of this is achieved without writing a single line of JavaScript. Now let's see how HTMX works. Let's walk through how HTMX works, step by step. AJAX request. When a user interacts with an HTMX enhanced element, like clicking a button, HTMX sends an AJAX request to the server. This request is based on the HTMX attributes in your HTML. HTML response. The server processes the request and sends back an HTML response. This is typically a fragment of HTML, not a full page. Trigger, the HTMX library, which is loaded in the browser, listens for these responses. When a response is received, it triggers the appropriate action. Update DOM, finally, HTMX updates the DOM with the new HTML content. This could involve replacing existing content, appending new content, or other actions specified by HTMX attributes. This process allows for dynamic, AJAX-driven updates to your web page without writing any JavaScript. The server just needs to return the appropriate HTML, and HTMX handles the rest on the client side. This cycle can repeat for various user interactions, allowing for a dynamic, app-like experience using primarily HTML. Why use HTMX? There are several compelling reasons to use HTMX. It simplifies web development by reducing the need for custom JavaScript. It works with any backend technology that can generate HTML. It enhances existing HTML rather than replacing it. It improves performance by allowing partial page updates. It has a gentle learning curve, especially for developers already familiar with HTML. Let's compare HTMX versus traditional JavaScript frameworks. Learning curve. HTMX has a lower learning curve because it's HTML-centric. You can start using it with just HTML knowledge. Traditional frameworks often require extensive JavaScript knowledge and have steeper learning curves. JavaScript knowledge required. With HTMX, you need minimal JavaScript knowledge. Traditional frameworks require extensive JavaScript skills. Server integration. HTMX simplifies server integration. Your server just needs to return HTML fragments. Traditional frameworks often require complex API setups, returning JSO or other data formats. Initial page load, HTMX is a small library, leading to faster initial page loads. Traditional frameworks can have larger bundle sizes, potentially slowing down initial loads. Interactivity, HTMX is good for most common interactivity needs. Traditional frameworks offer excellent, highly customizable interactivity, which can be beneficial for complex applications. Key takeaways. To summarize what we've learned about HTMX. It extends HTML to create more dynamic web applications. It simplifies AJAX interactions and DOM updates. It reduces the need for custom JavaScript. It works with any server-side technology. It's a lightweight alternative to complex JavaScript frameworks. In the next chapter, we'll dive into setting up HTMX and creating our first interactive elements. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.